a long time, hasn't it? Well, um, the reason it's been a long time is that, as some of you may or may not know, I don't know how many people actually watch this, um, but my day job is game development, and we have been in crunch mode for quite some time. So, I have a pretty good excuse why I haven't been streaming. It's because I've been making games for you guys. <laughs> so, um, in the evenings, I have been playing Ark a lot. I don't know, I just... I can't... I can't get away from this game. It's... <sighs> There's many reasons why I like this game so much. And, and one of them is that it's not easy. I really enjoy the fact that it's not easy. You think you got your shit together, and then all of a sudden everything just goes to hell, and every you lose it all, and it's a big disaster. And I think that's awesome. I love that about it. So that keeps me interested, because you don't get uh, bored. But the other reason is I've been playing at night with friends, and I would love to stream all that, because... It's, we have some good times and some crazy stuff happens, but um, one of the people that plays has a lot of noise in the background of her mic. So, um, and it's like people talking and, and stuff like that, and that would be very distracting. I've talked to her about it. She had bought a better mic and headset. However, it doesn't really filter out people straight up talking behind you, so... And, and, and quite frankly, she's not a streamer, so she's kind of like, meh, about caring if uh, people hear her talking. So, <coughs> it just hasn't been a good environment to, to stream. So, what have we been doing this time? Well... We progress pretty slowly, since it is just a few hours each night. We aren't really... We've gotten guns, but they... The, the cost of bullets and making bullets really devastates us. So, um, we don't use them too often just because it's so costly to make bullets. And um, so in the meantime, we've been finally got our first T-Rex. And after the Christmas event, we had, she got uh, tech tech gear, tech costume, so she put that on, it looks kind of cool. As you can see, we I don't know if you, maybe you can't see, it gets a little framey in this area here. Now we have expanded a bit, and I have the base back here. Now I'll go back and do a review maybe later of the base. It hasn't changed a whole lot. But she made one of these big giant tree houses and she went all out, man. The cat just went crazy. She made a two story tree house. I was like, what? What did you make this for? Because are you moving here or what? And she's like, oh, I just saw a cool design and wanted to make it. So now we have this tree house that's frankly bigger than our base. What level is that alpha there? Hold still. That's not an alpha. There he is. 25. My mount here is 182. I could probably kill that. It would be a bit stressful. I'm not really out here looking for alpha kills. But this server um, we're running here does have a definite alpha problem. See, there's one there. Got one there. And um, then by her house, there's like a well, I guess it's not her house. See, that was the conversation. It's like, are you moving out? Because we've got so many dinos around our place that wouldn't be a bad idea. Because it's getting a little framey around our house for her because of the dinos. Um, but she's like, no, I don't really want to say I'm moving out. So, I don't know. I have been, uh, yeah, he's going to beat up. Don't tell me. Framing, wow. Level five, okay. I'm confident. Uh, 
So I have been, I got a little bit of cash from um, relatives and stuff at Christmas. And I had been considering upgrading to a uh, 1080. Because right now my video card is a 770 and it's just like, like you saw, it's not the greatest. I've been considering upgrading to a 1080 with that cash, but also um, I don't have a PS4, and that's about the same cost. And then also, my girlfriend's, she doesn't care about either of those things, of course, and she's like, why don't we go on a trip somewhere? So I have all these places that this she wants to take this, we, we, this money could go. And I'm just going to put it in my savings account and let it sit there until I drastically need it. So what I've been kind of on the lookout for is she got a T-Rex. I'm not a huge fan of the T-Rex. I think, I think the model looks a little dumpy. It's a little like durr, 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 big, huge, wide hips, and I don't, I don't like the way it looks. So I said, well, if you're gonna get a T-Rex, then I'm gonna get a Spino. So I have been on the lookout for a Spino. I know Spinos are weaker, but eh, I don't care. I like the way the Spino looks better. I don't understand why they make it weaker because, I mean, I guess. Tyrannosaurus is always the brute. It's always the big, the big one, and they wanted to keep it that way, except for the Giga. But um, wasn't in Jurassic Park movies. I I only saw the first one, but wasn't the Spino like supposed to be a bigger badass than the T Rex? I thought that was the whole point. So um, anyway, I'm looking for a Spino, and since I've decided I wanted a Spino, I can't find one anywhere. Place. Isn't that the way it always goes? So, I'm looking for a high level Spino. Our levels here on this server, we can find 150 sometimes, 140s sometimes, 120s sometimes. So, we're able to get those high levels. Jesus. That was like crazy bad frames. Wow. Wow, look how bad it is. That's nuts. Maybe I need to restart the server. Whew. Wow. But this is also the area that her um, treehouse is in. Wow, such bad frames. Yeah, see, here's her teary house. Now, she found this design online. It's not quite how she wanted it to be. The design online had kind of this entryway that was covered. And I'm like, I kind of like it better when it's not covered. It's just like an open air. Look how huge this thing is. Nuts. Like I said, this thing's bigger than our house. Back at the other place. She made this all herself. I didn't lift a finger on this. She did it all herself. Um, you know, I should maybe feed her dinos. I don't know if she's been on lately. Let's see how we're doing here. Yeah, you like this? Christmas. Christmas RG. 145. Not the highest level, but... Uh, yeah, they need food. Named Skittles. Doesn't it look like Skittles? Taste the rainbow? Yeah. Um, I got this one for her kiwi. Big, big terror bird, but it's, um, kind of ugly, isn't it? I named it kiwi because it looks like those kiwi birds. Um, okay. And we got Nibbler here. This is how she built this place with this freaking. And then she's got lots and lots of beaver dams out here. They are everywhere. And there are beaver everywhere. So she's grabbed the high level one and started building this area. Um, 
This is her thatch machine, as Slipgator would call it. And I wanted to get a Christmas one. But we couldn't find a high-level male. There still may be some out there. You know, Christmas event is over, but they still exist if they haven't died. And if it's a high level, it might not have died. So that would be cool. I guess I don't understand quite how the spawning goes with this. You find something and you don't do a server wipe or anything and then sometimes it's just gone. Like out in the winter biome, we found a 120 Quetzal. Or, yeah, I think it was a 120 Quetzal. We're like, we're gonna tame that someday. And then we go looking for it and we can't find it anywhere. So I wonder if they respawn. See, she kind of has to... She's going to extend these pillars up and kind of do what she do what she did down here with this stuff. So, look how huge this is. It's freaking massive. It's hard to even get a scale of how big this place is. Just so huge. Way bigger than our place back home. Uh, see, here's... This is what she deals with. She said this drives her nuts, is that these uh, pterodons just fly right in, and then they get stuck. And they're just in here, walking around, driving everybody crazy. So, this actually is a good thing because I'm going to feed the dinos. Six. Okay, I'm not going to feed the dinos. Um, I should get crimson my uh, RG because Sometimes you go down here and things just get out of hand, especially so close to this swamp. Swamps are bad. Um, so the big mount I've been looking for, other than a spino, and the spino is just so we can maybe take out some of these alphas. But um, the big thing I have been searching for and never found yet is a therizino, um No, we got a therizinosaur. A thyla. I want one so bad. I had one in a single play game and they are like such an awesome mount. And it's so dangerous trying to find them and get them. And we've found quite a few. They just haven't been that great a level. And I would have loved to have found like a Christmas one. But I, I never saw any Christmas style. Alright. Go up here. She's got all these cool stalls for dinos to keep them. It's such a cool idea. The only bummer is Getting up here with a, a land-based dino is kind of challenging. If you can't pick it up with an RG, <coughs> it kind of needs a ramp. You know? um, anyway, let me grab Crimson here. Skittles isn't her main RG. She's got a bigger one. And it's even bigger. Than, that's bigger than mine. So. <laughs> you don't usually like to say that. It's bigger than mine. Um, okay, let's just grab some stuff and kill it. Yeah, the big thing is the phenomenon of blah, blah blah, what Slipgator always called pig moles. They're the best to get meat from. Other than killing you something big like a deploy. Well, let's. You know, we've got a lot of meat. What are we even doing? From killing that, um. Pronto. This is dumb. I was dumb. I forgot about that. Um. Yeah, so we got an uh, alpha problem over here, big time. Pretty much everywhere. Everywhere has an alpha problem. And I've got some really cool land diners. And it's really dangerous using them because if you run into a moderately high alpha, you can't outrun them. And you're just screwed. God, look at these frames. My god, so bad. I need to restart this server, I think. Wow. Oh, no, this one's alright. This one's feeling okay. 
Let's give it a little more. Uh, let's go back to Crimson because I'm an idiot and pick it up. Come here. Uh, give me, give me, give me. God dang. Um. Okay. Garbage. Ugh. Still got a little there. Okay, I think they're all good. Berries was lots of berries. Right. Yep, lots of berries. Probably the same with this one. Yeah, it's all right. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. How's that sound? Let's go back to my place, and uh, I just came out here to feed her dinos. What about her? It's still running. That's good, I guess. 56. That should... She might be on today. Alright. Um... Let's see. Alright. Now the way from our... From here to our place is straight. Under the green beacon. So yeah, in other news, the, um, the other thing that's happened is Monday, I changed roles at work. So currently I am a senior level designer, and I'm switching roles Monday to a game designer. So... In past companies I have worked at, the game designer role and the level designer role are the same role. And you call yourself whatever you want. You, Like, at Raven, they would say, what do you want in your business card, game designer or level designer? Because you're doing both. So, what the difference is there is a level designer, obviously, makes the level. So you do the layouts of the areas, um, placement, and then you script the combat and put in the game plan. Now that's always been my thing. It's like, I'm here to make games. I want to make the gameplay. Um, and that's fine in a smaller company. But when the company gets huge, like over 400 people, you get lost. There are so many bosses that it's hard to get your creative ideas out there when you're a level designer. You kind of are just doing tasks and being told what to do. So I felt like, you know, having been in the gaming industry 17 years and, and being a senior and all, I, I, I wanted to have some input. I was a little tired of, uh, well, Ubisoft's a big company, let's say that. <clears throat> so it's hard to get hurt. So I'm switching roles to game designer, and what that is, is you aren't building, you're doing more of the systems. You're coming up with um, gameplay ideas and, and what, what could happen and, um, with, like, equipment and... Um, ammo budgets and economies and you know within the game itself it's a bit more creative and it's a bit more problem solving which um, I was looking for so so yeah right now cat is home Asleep, of course. And this is her RG. So her RG is Hedwig, big 235. Pretty much kills everything. Um, let's see here. So inside, most of these are cats. She likes knick-knacky pets. That's what these all are, kind of. This one's mine that she got me for Christmas because we couldn't find any otters here and she found one. 
And then all these monkeys are hers. The penguin is hers. Now, everyone right now is going, what? These aren't in the island. And you're right. They aren't. Um, we were playing Aberration and finding it super frustrating because it's hard as hell, which is cool. That's cool. But she wanted, when we came back to our server, she's like, you know, I really miss those. And I'm like, you know, since they don't do anything, really, they just give you light. I'll just spawn them in. So I spawned in two random ones. She got this one. Um, Bellatrix, I guess she named it. I believe. And I just grabbed the other one that I spawned in, which was this ugly color, and I named it Turd. Because it looks like a turd. So, anyway. <laughs> I hardly ever use it, and really, like I said, it only uses light, so it's it's cheaty that I put it in the world, but there was no other way it was going to get here, really. And let's see. Uh, so out here, here is Mary, our Christmas trike. Let me turn this UI off here. There. This is Mary, our Christmas trike. Here is my Chally. Um, 135. This is Cats, 231. I like these so much. They're so fun to play with. And then inside we have our original... Oh, here I am. Turning it on again. Our original um, trike. Then Claudia, our Therizinosaur. And then two beavers. I don't know why we have two of them. <coughs> and Let's see. Let's see. A little laggy. Um, and then we've got this. This is cats and this is cats. These are our, our frog and I don't know why we even have that anymore really. Um so as you can see, this was our original base from before. Um, got a little beehive here too. I should check that actually. But I don't want to put on the ghillie suit. <coughs> you know what? I'll just look. Make sure it has rare flower because if it doesn't, it destroys. It gets destroyed. So let's see. We, maybe we can just check the durability. Yeah, it's fine. I guess we don't have to look inside. Um, and then we had a stairway down with a taming pen before, but now we have built a larger containment area. So this crazy ass stairway. Now here is her T-Rex. It's not a massively huge T-Rex, 130. And she's got that tech skin on it. I don't know if I like it or not. I don't know. And then inside, we haven't really done anything with the inside yet. Here's the my Christmas raptor I found, named it Noel. It is a 215 right now. That's pretty good. And then that's Cat's Raptor, which is just a 98. Now these are a couple of egg creatures. And as you can see, we have a uh, over raptor. And our first dino, Aladar. We found a couple horses. They're kind of hard to find on the island. We found a couple. Um, this is Cat's. Really badass saber. She hardly ever rides it, but this thing is. <laughs> stats on this are really good for our server. It's a 2,000 health, one over 1,000 stamina, and then uh, 379, so like 380 melee damage, 133 movement speed. This is a really decent saber. And our Dodicarus, which of course these are here just for building. Uh, a couple of dodos for eggs. My tap... Tap jar, whatever the hell you pronounce them. 
110. Cat found the scorpion recently. I've never uh, tamed a scorpion on the server. But it has also got crazy stats. It's 225, 2,000 health, over 1,000 stamina, um, and then melee damage 310, movement speed 200. And that's pretty nuts. And it's a male, so I guess I need to find a female, then we can start getting eggs, because I think like T-Rex used kibble that's from these. Um, here's my goblin, pterodon, and this is cats. You can tell cats because they're not leveled up. <laughs> and then we found this. Now this was quite, we went to the snow biome to build a kind of an outpost and found a sheep. <laughs> And it wasn't just a sheep, it was a 150. It was the highest level on our server. <laughs> sheep are hard enough to find, and then I, we find the highest level. So we had a mad rush to make the cake to tame it. And we successfully did it. Now we need another one so we can start getting mutton. We need a uh, male somewhere. So hard to find one on the island. So that is kind of our overflow tank here of dinos. Now if we split ourselves up, I don't know. I was going to say if we split the dinos up it would make the frames better here, but her area already has terrible frames. But then I'm going to restart the server and see how things go. So. And then out here, here's our little uh, boat, Bodie McBoat face. We all know what that's from. And then um, <coughs> we have our shark. It's not a huge shark, but it's a female shark Kira. <laughs> shark Kira. Yeah, that was my great naming. This is uh, my, I don't even know what these things are called, salamander, basically. Now these things, I think, get a bad rap because they are awesome. Everyone's like, meh. Now, maybe it's just because we don't have air tanks yet, but when you're riding them, you have full air. And you can walk up to them anytime and push, push the button, and then you have full air. I think they're awesome. So this is mine, and then this is Cat's. 173. Hers has a much cooler color than mine. And then this is Cat's Baryonyx. Miranda. You're looking at me, Brenda. You shy. Brenda. Brenda! Oh, oh there. Weird. Um, now, we did have a pig. And, um... A deodon. But I could not figure that thing out. It was just a meat pit. You just throw meat into it, and it would just go away. And I had passive healing turned off. So it shouldn't have been healing anything. And it would just like crank through the meat. And I'm like, I don't need this on this single player server. Uh, we're PVE here. I mean PVE, I don't mean single player. Um, so it's gone. So I took it for a long walk. I set it outside, I set it to aggressive, I set it to wander and I unclaimed it. So it was just out there doing its thing, and I don't know, I think it eventually died. Got killed by something. But I let its fate be its own, because I was done with that. So this was basically just a quick update of what's been going on and where I've been, if you're at all curious. Um, once this game I'm working on gets out the door, I'll be playing a lot more often and hopefully streaming a lot more often. And, um, that's about it. I'm going to restart the server, see if I can get things to run a little better. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is our doghouse. We got a couple hyenas. We had more. We had, um, Shenzi, Banzai, and Ed from Lion King. But Shenzi and Banzai died. They got stomped by Paratherosarium. We were out there, and with, um my Christmas wolf, Wintergreen. Get it. And um, then we have a Christmas hyena that I bought, that I found for Cat because I crushed her hyena with the Parasaritherium. 
So we have a 150 Christmas hyena. Um, yeah, so we were out gathering meat, and I attacked, or I attacked something, and they were everything was going crazy. I had my raptor follow. I had my wolf following my raptor, and the hyenas following the wolf, and we were attacking something, and then one of them accidentally hit a Paraceratherium, which we could easily handle. I mean, we're all high-level stuff, but then it called over three others and that were nearby, and it just became a shit show, and everyone got stomped. So, so now we're just down to Ed, and then I tamed, like I said, she named it Quinn, I assume after Holler Quinn because of the colors. And um, that's where we're at. So this was the update. Here's our cool little area. And um, I'm going to restart the server and see if, excuse me, see if I can get the frames back. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this little update and um, stick with me. We'll see if anything good happens in the future. Hopefully I'll be able to take you guys on some adventures with Cat and I, because it gets nuts. Good times. Alright, have a good one, guys.